Hey y'all, welcome to What Chelsea Eats. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm gonna share with you a juice recipe that is good for healing the womb. This is a very potent juice. It is a juice that is going to give you a variety of minerals and vitamins that are going to help you rebuild what you are deficient in. It's going to be one of those juices that is going to give you top level nutrition. So if you would like to know how to make this juice, stay tuned. So what do you need for this juice? I will put all the ingredients down in the description box below, but we've got some English cucumber, some ginger, some green apples, some celery, some habanero pepper, a burdock root, cilantro and parsley. We've got some turmeric, some lemon and dandelion greens. As you can see, this is a high level green juice. If you haven't started adding these types of greens to your juice, don't be afraid because even though a lot of these greens can be bitter, especially when you're first starting out, you can always add apples to tone down the flavor and lemons also to help you tone down those flavors. But let's get to juicing. Okay, so today I'm going to be using my angel juicer to make this recipe. I love the angel because it makes high quality juice. If you want to learn more about it, there's a link down in the description box about it. And there's also a video where I demonstrated using it about a month ago. As you all know, juicing is and has been a part of my journey. Juicing is one of those things that I do to flood my body with nutrients. It is the only way you can flood your body with nutrients. And lots of people will say things like, well, what do you do with all the fiber? Why do you, why do you wanna separate the fiber? The reason that I think juicing is fantastic and good for healing the healing process is because one, you can get fiber by eating your big salad or drinking a smoothie. There's nothing wrong with getting fiber and you can get uh, fiber from eating fruit. But the thing about juicing, especially juicing these very high potent green juices is it goes straight to your bloodstream and gives you the minerals and nutrients that you need right away and it helps to alkalinize your body and it helps to help your body get in a position where it can fight disease and conditions that you want to remove from your body. So basically it takes, it takes a step out of the process of your body having to break all of this stuff down and you get, you get straight to the, to the point, so to speak. So when you, after you have juiced all your juice and you're ready to drink it, all you have to do is just drink it and it's like medicine going straight to all the cells that need it. That's why I like juicing. I'm not saying that we shouldn't have fiber because we should. It just has its place. Juice has its place and fiber has its place. I think I also put mint in this juice as well. I didn't mention that before. But I just wanted to say that stop being so concerned about missing the fiber because even though you are extracting the, the essence of the plants and fruits from the actual fiber, even though you're separating the two, there's still fiber in the juice. There's something called insoluble fiber. It's not bulky fiber. It's just still fiber. You will still, like for example, if you go on a juice fast, for example, especially if you're drinking enough juice and you're hydrating your body, you still will poop. Not only are you pooping the old stuff that is in your body, but you're also pooping out the salt insoluble fiber that is in the juice. Did you know that? probably didn't all over the internet there's all these claims about why you shouldn't juice but juicing is the thing that you can do that gives your body a rest 
so it doesn't have to worry about digesting anything especially when you're really sick and then a lot of times people with reproductive issues people will also like discount the fact that you're actually sick when you have reproductive issues and I'm here to tell you when I was struggling with this these issues I was sick but what's hard about it is you're still expected to go on and do whatever you've got to do so that's why they feel they try to make it seem like you're not sick but you are sick if you're anemic if you're having cramps if you are bleeding out if you like all the things that go along with womb issues and some of you have issues that you don't even know are associated with womb issues and so the last thing you need is to be putting some extra um, work into having to try to digest something when a, so a glass of juice would do you better I'm not saying that you shouldn't try to digest anything don't take my words out of context all I'm saying is this is giving you a, a leg up if if you want to get the best bang for your nutrition and healing buck by juicing on a regular basis so that you can get the nutrients into your system so don't be afraid to juice just don't don't be afraid to juice it's it's don't be afraid and also don't be afraid to throw that pulp away <laughs> don't be afraid you don't have to use the pulp like literally some people will have like this this um like a aversion to throwing pulp away it's okay if you throw it away or if you don't want to throw it away put it in your compost make a compost bin so you can put it if you don't grow food you can put it in your your house plants or give it to a composting uh company in your area if you can't handle giving it away or getting rid of it i'm just saying i get up on a soapbox when it comes to this fiber thing all I know is that juicing is the single most thing that I did to help me get through my healing process. And I just love the way the angel extracts the juice from the plants. This is a very high end juicer and it has very high quality juice. So anyway, I think I'm going to shut up now. If you want the recipe, go ahead and look down below this video, get the recipe, start making the recipe regardless of what kind of juicer you have, start. Use the juicer that you have in your possession. If you are looking for a juicer and you don't have a juicer right now, and if you can't afford to like pay $500 for a juicer, maybe save your money until you can like is there's nothing wrong with saving up your money until you can afford a bit a better juicer drink smoothies get a you know 25 dollar blender from walmart and blend your food your green smoothies until you can afford to buy a juicer so i do recommend not buying cheap juicers because you do waste money on produce i i do recommend that that's why i say just save your money until you can afford a good one but you do not have to buy this one unless this is in your means to buy it and like I've told you guys before, if I had the money to buy this juicer at the time when I was at my sickest, I would have purchased it. No questions about it. So, oh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and do not forget to subscribe. If no one told you they love you today, Chelsea in North Carolina loves you very much, and I'll talk to you all soon. Take care.